Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dylan, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the reframe feature inside the GoPro app when capturing 360 degree video on your GoPro Max 360 degree cam. So what I did is I recorded about a minute clip. I just got a um, selfie stick, pole, whatever you want to call it, and fixed it to the front of my bicycle, and I hopped on it and took it for a real quick spin. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to use reframe to reposition and set keyframes to make a video that looks like this. So without any further ado, let's get started. So I captured this clip and I actually, you know, downloaded it, saved it to the GoPro app. And so then I open it up and then you're gonna tap this little blue icon in the middle of the screen. And it brings up this, um, this view where you can go through and edit. And so if you'll look down to the far right, guys, you see those three gray icons. The one in the middle, that's the keyframe um, icon. So you're gonna wanna tap on, you're gonna wanna scroll forward in your timeline to where you wanna set a keyframe to, to tell it where, okay, here's where I want the camera. So scroll forward a little bit and let's say I wanna start my video about right there where I'm getting on the bike. And let's say that's exactly where I want the camera is right there looking at me get on the bike. So now I'm gonna tap that little keyframe and actually I, I'm gonna have to scroll back real quick. Now we'll tap, now that we've tapped that keyframe, we're going to tap it again, the little blue icon there. It's going to set that keyframe. Now we're going to go forward in the video, and let's say right as I get outside the garage, right about there, you can't see me. So with our fingers, you can pinch, pull, zoom, rotate, just like you know you're used to using a smartphone. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, and let's see, maybe turn. Maybe show a little bit more of this way if I can get my horizon to look halfway decent. Something like that. Now I'm going to tap it to set a keyframe. Now we're going to go forward. And let's say by the time I get about right here out onto the street, I'm going to rotate back. And then I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Set a keyframe. And let's say slowly as I go down this straight road right here, I want it to turn into kind of to the tiny planet, the tiny world look. So by about right there, I want it to be tiny planet. So now I am going to move around until I get the tiny planet look that I want. And let's see. I think I like it about right there. So I'm going to add a keyframe. Scrubbing forward. Let's say by the time I turn around right here, I want it to be rotated back around to where I'm on top. Coming back towards the camera still the tiny planet that looks good add a keyframe and then let's say by the time i get about right here i want to be back more regular so i'm gonna drag down and let's say i don't want it zoomed out that much so let's say about right there add that keyframe and then i'm gonna turn into the driveway let's go ahead and turn it back this way Get our horizon a little bit straight. Add a keyframe. And then by the time I come into the garage, I'll zoom it out pretty far just to kind of look cool like that. And add that keyframe. Okay, so now you'll notice if you go back, all the and you push play, all these transitions happen. And they all go based off the keyframes that you set. 
just like we saw in the video that I showed you guys a little bit ago. So real quick, to just kind of fine tune, show you guys something else. If you'll scroll in between these first two points here, you'll notice above the six second you know, indicator there, there's a little icon, let's tap that. These are just kind of like transition settings and you can, you can experiment and use different ones, but I always like to use the ease both. So I'm gonna go through here and of course you can use a different one in between each transition in between each keyframe, I guess I should say, but I'm gonna use ease both on all of them. And then now we're done, we're gonna tap done there. And the last thing we need to do is we need to trim the video. So figure out where you want the video to end and I wanna have it end right there. I'm going to hit the scissors and then I'm gonna tap the scissor icon again. Now you gotta scroll forward to say, say where you want the video to start and I want the video to start right there. So I'm gonna hit trim, then up in the top upper right cor hand corner, guys, we're gonna hit done. Then we're gonna hit save, and we're going to render the video. Now what's gonna happen is it's gonna render this video, and after it's done rendering, you can save it to the camera row on your phone, then you can airdrop it to your computer, so then you can take it into Premiere Pro, or um, Final Cut Pro, Sony Vegas, whatever you use for your editing software. But um, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Also, please be sure to subscribe as I'll continue to have more GoPro Max videos upcoming in the future. As always, I enjoyed it, guys. Have a good one.